Suppliers often provide metal stamping or die casting as options while making metal products. However, the manufacturing processes are completely different between these two technologies. So, how do we distinguish them and find out a proper way of our new product developments? I am Scheller, the customer manager of Reiji Sourcing. Today, I'm going to show you the differences between stamping and die casting for metal production. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe this channel if you want to know more about the manufacture industry in China. I hope to see you all in my next video. First, what is metal stamping? Stamping is the process of placing flat sheet metal in either blank or coil form into a stamping press where form the metal into a shape. It includes various sheet metal forming manufacturing processes, such as blanking, bending, embossing, blanching, coiling. Stamping is a comprehensive application method. The above techniques may be used simultaneously in the production of one product. It is widely used in various fields such as daily teapots, working computers, and automobile parts. The stamping mode is an essential part of the whole process. In addition to determining the size and appearance of the product, it also needs enough structural force to withstand tens of thousands of times stamping. Making a perfect mold depends on the product designer's experience. If the designer lacks production experience, he may overlook some details on actual production situation which might influence the mass production. But basically, there are types of technologies often used on processed metal products, like casting and stamping. So, how to make decision when do producing? Die casting is a technology that injects molten or semi-molten metals into a metal mold at high speed and high pressure. The advantage is that it can achieve complex shape, for example, fine screws and complicated knobs. On the contrary, metal stamping uses a punching machine to punch out solid objects, which might only able to make simple shape, such as an iron spoon, iron bowl, and so on. So before the actual production, it's important to choose the most appropriate technology based on the budget. If you are developing a product for high cost effective scheme, but struggling with the hard situation, feel free to contact us. For more information, welcome to our website rdsourcing.com. We are glad to work with you.